Okay, so in theory, I'm live. Maybe. I don't know what is going on. I hate doing all the technical bullshit. But, hi. Hello? Is audio good? Is video good? Please let me know if things are good. That's that's just my voice. If there's no electronic interference, it's just me. social media and be like, hey, I'm live. More like underwater. No, no sound. Fantastic! See if that will do anything. Settings. Okay. okay. Give that a little bit. So in theory, this should be a fix. Maybe. Hopefully. Give it a few seconds. Ow. I should get a new microphone. Alright, 
this is probably the best we're going to get. So, do I have sound and can you hear me? And then we'll just figure out the distortion later. Maybe if I do that, and then maybe turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna try for this, maybe. Is this good? I'm gonna start making obnoxious noises, because... Hooray! Speaking of obnoxious, my camera rig is in my way. Let me see if I can actually... I am a professional! Look at this to work somehow. Uh, yeah. Anybody got any reports? Maybe? Okay. Yeah, for reporters, I'm checking on. Try twelve hundred grand, maybe. Let's try that. Maybe something will happen. I don't know. I don't know how this shit works. So we're gonna figure it out. Ah, there's no signal there. Hmm. Okay. So that might be good. Maybe. Alright. I'm going to call this good, even though I might sound like a robot or whatever. Uh, yeah. This is about the best we're going to do. How we doing? Maybe. Aha! Okay. I think we're good. I'm going to call this good. We're going to be good. All right. Cool. Fantastic. I figured it out. I should write that number down somewhere. Uh, okay. I'll write it down for future reference later. 1,200. 
bitch rage. Okay. So, all that being said, even though I'm still going to wait a little bit because I want to say, hey, I'm live and it's actually working, and just to get people to come in so I don't start with the box. Yeah. So, all right. I'm going to share this thing. Feel free while you're waiting to share this stream as well if you got friends that will be interested in these types of Japan Great Foodie thingies. Because, yes. So, on to... Well, first, I'm going to figure out where the dang uh, link page is. Okay. On watch page. Watchy, watchy. There's a linky, linky. Here's a link. Okay, go back there. Where am I going? Facebook! I have now. After much trials. Trials. Okay. Got that there. Mm -hmm. Tweeters! Yeah. Okay. Twitter and Facebook. And I think that's good because it's literally the only place I hang out in. Anyway. So, chat. How y'all doing? How was your holiday? You celebrate it? What have you been up to? Um, I had a quiet evening. I didn't have turkey. We had some sort of, like squash concoction we had like a pork roast and we stuck it in an acorn squash and we covered it in hard cider with some shit ton of onions and baked it forever and it was good although we had to figure out it, it's a modified miniaturized version of like a chef john recipe um because there's only two of us and uh so we didn't want to have a bunch of food around um, I'm looking at my face and it's distracting me, so I'm going to look somewhere else and close that window up. Alright. And I'm just going to hope that I'm actually doing live things, and I'm trusting you to report if something's going wrong, because I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, so we just had that. It was quiet. And then on Sunday, I took a road trip down to Boston to see VNV Nation concert, which was awesome. Um, yeah, I didn't do too much. I got a pin at the concert from Holy Graham, which was one of the pre-acts. It's a uh, more like traditional goth rock for that one. Um, but yes, that was, and then I got the new album from VMV Nation, Noir, because I don't have it, and I have pretty much everything that, uh, yeah, except that album. Anyway. I'm still here. Did you miss it? No, no, I'm just talking and making people, like, I'm waiting for people to come in and show up. I'll probably do it in about five or ten minutes. Um, so that, you know. I have the maximum amount of people coming in and seeing all the stuff so I don't, like, ruin it all. And, yeah. So, no. Haven't done it yet. I'm... Thumbs up this monitor of my screen because this is where the chat is. And, yeah. Um, but speaking of pins, I also got these cool things from, like, Black Friday sales. I have this bag of bones puzzle thing, and it glows in the dark. Because I, I don't know if anybody else remembers this candy, but... I mean, eh, making sure that this thing is actually on the dang screen. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Bag of bones, or box of bones, coffin bones, the puzzle bone things. They're like little candies, like sweet tarts, and they were in, um, you just make little pins and stuff, and it's really cute. Um, so I got this pin because it was on sale on Black Friday at Lunar Crypt Co. They have a bunch of colors of this, but I had to get the glow-in-the-dark green because it looked more like the transparent coffin stuff. Um, let's see. 
And then I got this one, which is Serial Monsters. Um, I, the Serial Monsters Crunch Bunch, they had three colors, one to represent Booberry, um, Frankenberry, and Count Chocula. I got the Count Chocula one because it was my favorite, but yes. So I've just been, my, my pin collection has been expanding exponentially. I have so many coming in, and then they all have all of Black Friday sales, and I was just like, yeah. So, um, yes. So how about you all, holidays and weekends? Did you do anything cool, or did you just do anything for the Black Friday things? I don't go out for Black Friday. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I stayed in and did my shopping online. So, uh, any, any of you all found any specials or some, any specials or something? Forgive my talking, I am extraordinarily tired. I've been recording all day, and, yep. Let's see. Do, do, do. We'll give it about three-ish minutes, and then I'll start the um, the unboxing. I'm just kind of checking, making sure things are okay, and nothing is like on fire. So, do 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 do. No, I didn't even share it in the group, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I have here the giant ass Japan Crate box. Japan Crate is always good because they load these things full. And whenever I used to do them on uh, regular videos, I would have to do them in two parts because there's just so much content in here. Um, so this was the ha this is the original Halloween box because it showed up like two like a week ago, last week this showed up, and it is still it was uh, the custom slip was dated September 10th, so this is the original box and is now November 30th. Um, but they were having problems with typhoons, and the mail was really, really, really backloaded. Um, but they had emailed and said that to expect it like two to four weeks later, and it was past that. Um, so, like, <laughs> it was funny because last week I literally emailed them and I said, Hey, um, is, is the October box still coming? I still haven't gotten mine. They were like, Alright, we can give you a refund. Or we can give you another one, and I was like, well, um, I still kind of want to do it, so I asked for a replacement. Um, and then, like, two days later, this one shows up. So, there might be more of these oncoming, if you guys want to see this some more. But, uh, yeah, this is the original Happy Halloween <laughs> Japan, which I'm very excited for. Um, and it makes funny, shaky noises. There's, like, something in here that's making, like... Bean, like something filled with silica pellets or something. So I'm not sure if that's the spooky. Um, because there's like a, I think there's like a toy in here or something like a gotcha. I did not open this yet, but I do have the drink in front of me because I wanted it chilled. Um, this is Pepsi J Cola Midnight, which is I think grape flavored, but it's got a cute little fox mask on it. And let's see, the flavor, I saw the flavor somewhere. Yeah, the flavor, I don't know if that's good. I don't know what this is. It might be berry. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it looks like uh, it could either be grape or like a currant flavored, which I'm kind of hoping it's current flavor because I can't imagine grape tasting very good with cola. This is the Halloween Pepsi, so I guess... We can uh, get it started, or some sorts. So, 
Let's see. I'm going to do one last check to make sure everybody's good. And um, the stream is still, you know, streaming. So be good before I start cracking into spoilers. Yeah, looks like we're okay. Everything okay? Everything's okay. Okay. Okay, so let's get into this. It smells mostly like Pepsi. No. Oh. It smells like Pepsi plus something very fruity. Hmm. It tastes like Pepsi and then some, but I can't tell what that then some is. It's kind of fruity, but Pepsi's got a really strong flavor to begin with, so I can't really imagine like anything else with it. It's not great. And it's not gross, so I guess that's the important thing. I'll drink it. I'm fine with that. Let's see. All right. So, all right. This is the box. Let us see what we have inside. Finally, after two months, we have some festive things and flyers that fall down. That is a spooky thing that just popped out of there. All right, wow. Yeah, this thing is loaded. With lots of little bits. What do we have here? Jeez. I'll start with all this mess that I have in front of me. Let's see. That is the flyer. Uh, that That's going to show you all of the stuff that's in here, and I don't want to spoil myself. So... Yeah, but that's a little cute. I like this one because there's lots of little cute little diddly doos all over in this, and I don't know what they are, but they are cute, and it's like actual like like a trick or treat pail. So, all right, I'm gonna move this. I live in perpetual chaos, so we're just gonna make things happen. Okay. So this, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a ghost. Uh, terrible ghost story gum. So I'm not going to chew it because it's gum. But this is a terrible ghost story gum. So I wonder if there's a translation in it. If there's like a spooky story. I'm going to open this carefully because I don't want to like rip it and mar the artwork. It kind of looks like a movie trailer uh, poster or something. And there's not a lot of information. There's a So I'm wondering if I can go to like the website and get a translation. If I go to like Google Translate on this. So, let's see. Okay. So we have, I've had these kind of gums before. So this is just like a stripe of, it kind of tastes like fruit stripe, uh, the zebra stripe ones. But uh, I think it's Ramune flavored. So, smells like it. It smells very strong. And then you get... This card, and I'm thinking this is a story. Ooh, oh, oh, it opens. It opens. I wish I knew Japanese, and this looks like I'm gonna rip it if I open it up. Which way do I open it? I'm trying to figure out how this works. Um, yeah, there's like a whole story in here, so I'm wondering. How to do this without ripping it. You know what? I'm going to go to the manual, and I'm going to see if I have to do this in a particular way. Because I don't want to rip it, I don't want to ruin it. And, yeah. So I just have, like, this little card thing that is hollow. Looks the story continues in there. So, we'll figure that out later. I'll put that aside. Next up, I have, ooh, jelly beans in soda, cola, uh, apple, I think, and grape flavored. So we have really cute, spooky 
little jelly beans. Let's Halloween! To the side. Let's Halloween! From. Ooh, Kasugai. That should be a very good brand. These, this brand makes some really good gummies that are like my favorites, and they taste exactly like the fruit they present. So, I'm really excited about this. Oh, hey, it's resealable too, so I don't have an excuse to eat them all in one sitting. Ooh! Oh, that smells so good. Just candy and soda and fizzy and just good. I'm going to have a mystery flavor, too. So these green ones, ones in here, they're a mystery flavor. Um, those are great. So I'm going to get one of each just to see what they're like. I'm going to start with the grape. They're kind of just chewy little things with, like, a coating on them. That squish. Mmm. 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 Mmm, those are good. like jelly beans i wouldn't really compare them to jelly beans they're like if you ever had the kasugai gummies the really big bags of like individually wrapped gummies um it's that same exact texture but it's sugar coated like a jelly bean like if you break it into a jelly bean you have that first extra layer that you have to get through in order to get to the rest of it so these are really good those are cool um let's see. i think this one's cola because it's brown so we'll try that one. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cola candy of any kind is my absolute favorite. Let's see, I think this one's apple. Mm -hmm. That one has got more of a florally taste to it. Kind of interesting. Like if you know the Western sour apple stuff, it tastes a little bit different. Then we have the Ramune one. <laughs> Very good. Typical if you ever had like lemon lime sodas, the Ramunes. Just like that. So now we have mystery flavor. And I'm hoping it's not gross. So, hmm, it's familiar. I don't know. Mm. It's kind of got like a bubble gummy taste to it, but not. I'm gonna try to find another one. It's not bubblegum, but it is. Mm. I've had this flavor before. Maybe... I wonder if this QR code in the front will tell me what it is. Let me find out. It's with my phone. Let's see. Camera. Can you read with this weird-ass light? Ow! My Funny bone. <clears throat> Come on. Yes. Okay. Uh, go. Web address. Well, it takes me into this very cute site, which you probably can't see. Okay, you can kind of see if I hold it in a weird angle. But there's like jelly beans here. Um, I don't know what this is. Menu. I wonder if I can translate this here. Nope. If I figure it out, I will go and... 
put it in the description as an update because this is going to be post posted later. So we'll figure that out later. <laughs> so this is a horror mask. <laughs> that is really cute. So you could have like different creatures and put it on different parts of your face. So let's open this up and see what I got. It looks like a pumpkin. Oh, and it comes with something. Wah! It comes with little pellet candy. I think those kind of look like nerds. So, really fun to play with. And then I got, oh, hey, cool. It comes with rubber bands too. So this is the mask. I don't know if that's gonna fit. We've got how do I think we go this way? Maybe. Ouch. How about we look at the directions? Uh... Okay. So it's like a surgical mask almost. How do you do that? Put that. In the crevices. Watch that. In the crevices. Take my glasses off. Does it fit or will I just have lust? Oh, hey. Oh, we got pretty stretch. Some adults can use this. Hooray. Am I cool yet? Maybe. Okay. I can't see, so I'm putting my glasses back on. All right. How we doing? I'm checking up on the feed. Are we still doing good? Can we still hear me a little bit? I'm watching the watch page. Let's see. How about we get the box off of my keyboard? There we go. All right. Yes. Um, uh oh. Oh dear. I don't know. Okay. For those who are very familiar with Odin fights with candy, um, there is a certain fizzy beverage that I have made three attempts. Three attempts to try. I think it was three. Um, and completely failing so now i bring forward this one which i'm going to put on another fights with candy and this looks almost exactly the same as those fizzy um pudding drinks so this one's actually way more complicated freaking complicated it looks pretty though like i really like this character here but it's like all of these directions on here so i think that'll be a fun odin fights with candy because i don't have my camera down here and i still have <coughs> i still have spit in my throat um the caramel apples from um last box tokyo treat that one <coughs> let's see no, it's not the floor cleaner stuff. I have a candy kit that I made. Um, it was like a jelly pudding thing, but it was a soda at the same time. It was, it was weird, but cool. And I made... It, it's a really old video, like three or four years old. Um, and I had refused to touch that kit again. So, look forward to this in a future video, and we shall see how I perform on that. <laughs> Good. Um, we have this strange... Oh, this is the shaking thing. This makes a lot of noise. Really awesome. Um, it's like a bunch of stacks of oranges. And this orange is very happy to be on top. Because he doesn't have to deal with somebody else's ass on top of its head. So, that is that one. Mikan Subiko Mikan, I think. 
should we go? I can't remember my characters. So, it looks like an orange delightful thing of some form. And is there a Use my teeth. Yeah, this is a nice texture, and I hope it doesn't go away. Okay. Bye bye! Rest your eye holes! Oh, the texture goes away. one except for that one. The sound is going weird again. Awesome. Let me see if I can address that. Stitch. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. Let's see. to kind of relax. I think I peaked the microphone with this thing too, so that doesn't help. It's going to need, need some time to, uh, let's see. All right. Give it a few minutes to recuperate from whatever chaos I did. Because I can stop and start again, maybe. I don't know if that'll work, but. Do, 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 do. While I hold this strange device, we'll figure out what's going on with my sound. Very hard. Alright. If I don't hear from anybody, I'm going to claim that I'm good to go. And play with my plastic kingdom. Okay. We have this thing, but one of them screws off, pop, so, pops off. So what's in here? Little bowels. Uh, I don't want those filling everywhere, so I'm gonna cap that back up. Okay, these little teeny tiny balls, similar to the pink one there. So I'm gonna guess those are flavored strawberry. Uh, where's my cat? He's napping. It's not his stream. It's not his channel. <laughs> so I'm going to try the little balls. Hmm. Ooh. Very, very, very sharp citrusy flavor. Very good. But they're not like... These aren't hard all the way. They're kind of like crunchy. But like the center is very soft and kind of juicy. Hey, plus. Those are good. Oh, let me see if I can find the cat. I don't know. There's usually one sleeping on my yoga mat. Nope. There's not even a cat sleeping on my yoga mat. So now, let's see. I just have like this collection of stuff. Oh, my God. So, you remember these? This one that I just talked about on the beginning of the stream? 
Look at what I got. <laughs> Japanese vagabonds. Look at that. Let's see. Now, look at that. Green. Oh, damn it. <sighs> um, 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 um. I have a knife around here somewhere. Get my big one. Aha! Yeah. There we go. Okay. Get one side out. There we go. Those are huge. Huh. Yeah, look at how huge these ones are. And it looks like I've only got one pelvis, one rib cage, one. Oh, it's all pieces are broken. Two leggies, two arm buggies and leg buggies. Beats and hands. Yeah. Damn it. There's only one. Oh well. I don't want to eat them because I want to build them later. Let's see. Down. I have a lot of little things. I don't know what to go with. Let's go with some of the things. I'm trying to sort this mess. It's cute though, it's a little teeny tree. It looks like I've got two of each. Got some Kit Kats. I think Kit Kats melted. Uh, yeah, I've got two of each of these so I can share that. Okay. Let's go with trying one of these. I'm not sure what they are. They're really cute looking though. We've got a clown and a vampire, and I'm going to eat the vampire one because I like vampires more than I like clowns. So, let's pop that open. I might keep the wrapper because it's very cute. So what is it? What is it? It's yellow. It comes apart. It is some sort of golden nugget thing. Ooh, smells like the caramel Kit Kats that I had last time. Mm. It's just like a solid block of chocolate. That was really good. Very buttery, gritty. And the piece fell off. Ah. I'm wondering, since this one is pink if it's like strawberry flavored. Hmm. I'll find out later. And they can report back. Let's see. So I have two Kit Kats and I'm not sure if they're shaped or if they're mounted because I feel strange. One and save one for later. So there's just two cat Kit Kats here, and I'm trying to figure out if they are later or not. So, let's open these up. And the other end. What the hell is going on here? Oh no, they're melted. And they look like they're just regular cats, my poor kid cats. I can't, I suppose I can't give anyone a break with that, so I guess I'm just going to eat it. Standard kick cat. I love 
me some pickaxe. While you're watching me chew, is anybody else snacking on anything? Let me know. I don't know if you guys are snacking on stuff too. Because I like food and I like trying things. So, moving on. The next duplicate here I see is this cute little thing. Bourbon cocoa cream. Um, yeah. So they look like little stick candies. They've got a ghosty on one and a kitten on the other. They're really cute. I mean, I guess those are kind of like those pyroline cigarette cookies from last time. Oh, thank you. That is from the Juvia's palette, which I recorded the video on today. And, uh, yeah, so I got a lot going on with that. Slight makeup break. Um, yeah, Juvia's place. Really, really cool. Like, look at these colors. I love these colors so much. So, anyway. And on um, lips, I've got Melts and Blitzed, which I got their um, Black Friday stuff. So, that's what I got on the eye now. And these, oh, they smell like marshmallows. Like, if you, if you know what MAC lipsticks smell like with the vanilla and stuff, this one smells a lot creamier and so much more powerful. Um, but they had a Black Friday sale, which was $5, so like, four for the price of one. And, yeah. Just a quick, I got Moto, which is like this blue with a shit ton of sparkles in it. Um, Glow, which is a typical green. And this is the most opaque green I have ever seen. I have had so many problems finding a green that is um, actually opaque and actually covered my lip color. Like, holy shit. Uh, all these are mattes. The Mota is a little sheer. The blue one is a little sheer, just to kind of show the sparkle on it. It still looks good. It still has some nice coverage, and I still can... It co covers my um, color pigmentation, but the rest of those are matte. And Tomboy, which is this... I thought it was a lot more greener uh, in the picture, but um, it's apparently like a true beigey khaki color. And... Um, I like it. It takes a little bit getting used to, but it's nice for those, like, really dead, drowned person looks. So, I'll use it. Uh, yes, the makeup that I'm wearing on my face. Face from Julius. Anyway, alright. So, okay, these look like really brightly colored compatos, which are the um, sugar candies. They're really famous from. Um, uh, I think it's spirited in a way. The said sprites like to eat these. And, yeah. So. I think that's what these are. These might be flavor, but it's got a cool pumpkin king on there. Being like, hey, what's up? Do they smell like anything? No. So they might just be regular sugar ones. I'm going to try one because my SO likes these a lot. Got one little great nugget. Mm -hmm. They're compacted. So they're basically like rock sugar. Nothing special. Well, I mean, they're very brightly colored. Not usually this brightly colored, but very cute and awesome. Let's see. I don't think I have a duplicate of this one. Is there another one of these? In here? Doesn't look like. Guess I'm eating it. Good morning. So, this is a hot. I think this is another one of these chocolates. Uh, yeah. So, that one might be a Ramune flavored chocolate. I don't know how I feel. We'll find out. Oh, what? It's all melty. Man, this box went through. This looks like chocolate, but it says Ramune on the front, I think. I think, all right, me. Oh, no, it says milk. I really need to brush up on my skills. So this is just a milk chocolate nugget. Mm hmm? Very good. 
And then And then I'm guessing this one's dark. That is very creamy and very chocolate flavored. You know, intense. That's the word I'm looking at. Okay. This looks cute. Although I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like licorice. I think that might be licorice, actually. So we have this little smiley dude here. And he's got two tongues, one black and red. So, we'll see what that is. I'm not, I'm one of those people that just doesn't like licorice. So, yeah. That being said, one time I got this pack of gummies. It's from, from England. And they, um, they were gummies and half of, they're, they're two-toned. One side was licorice, and then one side was another flavor, fruit flavored. And of all things, it was banana. So I tried that one out, and I was like, holy shit, this is really good. So if you encounter licorice and banana flavored things at the same time, apparently that's a really good combination. Just in, in case you wanted to know or something. Open! Damn you! It's doing that thing where, it, like... The outer layer opens, but not the inner layer. Ah. Is there... Oh, that smells so good. It smells like cola. So maybe it's cola flavor. Is this gum? Oh, it's gum. Marukawa gum. Oh, I'm definitely saving this because cola gum is my favorite. But that's what they are. I think they're just two sticks of gum. One is probably strawberry flavored, and the other is cola. Cola, unless they're both cola. That smells so good. Oh man. Okay. So yeah, that's gum, and I'm gonna save that for later because I don't want to be chewing it on the stream. And this is not an ASMR channel, so ah. Oh! I completely skipped over these. Uh, yes, the cocoa cream. I'm gonna eat the coasty goo one and save the other one. So, I think this one got melty too. Well, maybe, no. It's kind of strange. It's got like a boat motif on it and it's got like something in the center. These look very good. No, it's on my desk. Mm. Wow! That is freaky as fuck. So it's like really, really thin cookies rolled up into a spiral and it just kind of falls apart, falls apart and I bit into it. That being said, that is really good. And I'm sad that I only have one of these. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you seeing that right? I'm seeing in chat from Juanita. I have cola flavored cocoa covered cherries. That is very intriguing. Can you tell me where you got that? If that's what, if I'm reading that right, because that sounds amazing. All right, moving on to this thing. Cheezak. Cheezak, and he's got a really rad, cool cat on there. Who is like, yeah, I like cheese. Don't give cats cheese. You will regret it when you're cleaning the litter box later. So, cheesy poof. Oh, wow. Oh, he got brutalized. So, uh, Smells like um, the filling of a cheese and cracker set. Oh, it smells good. It smells like the like not the cracker itself, but the cheesy filling. So I'm not sure what these were supposed to be shaped like, but I have like an orange, crackery poof thing. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Mmm. That is very strange. It's very buttery. I think it just dissolves. Hmm. I kind of wish that came in one piece then, because that's going to just crumble and fall all over the place when you try to eat that. But it's just, it's gone. That's some, that's, that's, yeah. They're good. But, yeah. I don't know, that's strange. That tastes like very, very buttery and very, very just, like, there needs to be a word for that, where it's like coating your tongue. Not bad. Also, your son found them. That's really cool. If you have like a brand name or something, I can Google it and find them on my own. All right, that was strong flavored of cheesiness. I don't really want to mix that with other sweet things, but here we go. We have, I'm not sure what this is. It's for me though, or it's for you. So it's something, and it's got a cute little witch thing on it, and a ghost. I don't know what this is. Yeah. It is a chocolate log of some form. Yeah. It smells like a very good chocolatey coating. I wonder what that is. Hmm. So the inside is like a soft, spongy cookie thing. It kind of dissolves really, really quickly. And it's kind of like a breadstick. And this thing, <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks because <laughs> um, we went to a gas station and we were looking at... Um, we were looking at the bakery section, and there was something that was called uh, Nutella Hazelnut Donut. So we were very curious about that, and got one because it was really nice to shine. It looked like a, the chocolate-coated donuts that you see, like Entenmann's makes those, and it was covered with hazelnuts on top and everything. So we were kind of really curious and excited about that. We get all the way home to get it, and we tried it. We bite into it, and it's like... It's like Wonder Bread on the inside. It wasn't a donut. It was just a coated... ...chocolate piece of white bread. And I was just, like, very insulted by it. Because that's not a donut. That is a chocolate-covered piece of bread. Anyway, that irrelevance aside, this is very delicious. After all that being said. Anyway. Now we have... I think that's it. Well, we got one more small thing. Before I get into the big things, I think. One more small thing. So we have this thing, which looks like a crunchy snack of some form. Although, and that's all I know about this. Is that there's a koala on it. I'm going to be careful with opening these things. So it doesn't spill all over my desk. Oh, it's a pack of koalas march. Awesome. So we all know koalas march. Chocolate covered, chocolate filled cookie biscuits. So let's see. Um. Mm. I love me some koalas. Oh, they're Queen Anne cordial cherries. Oh. Yeah, I've seen those from time to time at uh, my local supermarket places. So, okay. We have a thing. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like something freeze dried. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to eat it or put it in water first. I don't know. We'll try it raw first. Actually, I need to wash out my mouth again with some cola. I still can't taste the separate flavor on this. I've had about half of it. I don't know what it is. All right. Oh, springy. 
smells fishy. So it's probably some sort of strip snack. It's very pliable. It feels like foam. Like craft foam. Almost. Salty and fishy. Kind of like um, fish cake. Which really does not go very well with chocolate, if I'm being absolutely honest. There's a little bit of spiciness to it. These are interesting. I don't know if you're supposed to eat them as a snack. This would be really good in some instant ramen. And I might try that. And my breath is very fishy right now. Alright. This is my life now. Um, yeah. They're good. I have my grape juice to maybe try and get that out. Nope. Still fishy. Alright. Moving on. The next thing... Ooh. These look like individual wrapped candies. Kind of hard. But they look like little dudes. And they're cute. Look at how cute these little dudes are. And you got pumpkin. And let's see. On the back, it looks like there's a bunch of different flavors. And this. Um, nope, this is just a random box. Uh, this is Japan Crate. It's a subscription mail service. Um, so you basically just um, get the box every month. I think it's the giant box that I have here is $35. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Pepsi. Um, and then they send you this each month. Well, Japan Grid, I've noticed, is kind of a lot slower than uh, some of the other subscription box service. Like, Tokyo Treat was really fast. Um, and then this one was just delayed because of the storm in Japan. So the mailing was backlogged and finally got to it. There might be... Yeah. So... This is a mailing service. They send you random stuff that you've never tried before, and I always love trying new things, so I love this stuff. Um, anyways, yes. So it looks like we have three different flavors of little dudes, and we have this cutout of a witch hat. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with it, though. Maybe put it on a stick. Be like, hey, I have a witch hat. So, from Lion Brand. So, gonna open that up. See what we've got inside. Individually wrapped. So. And it looks like. Oh, look at how cute these are! Let's see. Look at these cute little dudes. I think I got the grape flavored one. And there might be a mystery flavor one in here. These also might be fizzy too. But... Oh, they're transforming. I understand now. Mm. So the grape dude. Yeah, camera. Grape dude is how it starts off. And then as you suck on it, it'll transform. I have to figure out my camera coordination. It'll transform. Lemon, soda flavored, or maybe continue being grape. Uh, yep, I don't understand my. I don't know enough Kalikana to. I've forgotten all of my Japanese. So, I don't want to sit here and eat hard candy. I'm going to try to crunch it and figure it out. Mmm. Mmm. That one's the soda flavored one. And I'm not gonna take it out and show you because I'm sure that's really gross. But I like that. And they're not obnoxiously hard, so they don't wreck your teeth. That's awesome. Because I don't need another filling. Okay. 
This looks really cool and interesting. I believe these are some sort of potato chips, but it looks like they're drizzled in caramel or something. Because they got these caramel cubes on here. And it looks like potato chips, although they could be apple chips. We shall find out momentarily. Oh, that smells really good. We have like a lot of chips in here. Those might be apple. I don't know. So that is... It smells so good. That's what it looks like. This is really thick. So... Trying to figure out... Those are nice. Those might be yam or sweet potato. Because they've got like, they're, the chip themselves is really sweet. And then it's got the caramely flavor on top of that. And they're very thick and they're very, very crunchy. Mmm. Those are really good. They're more sweet than savory. So if you're kind of into that sweet notion sweet mood right now good but i'll figure out what those are at the end and then we have this this is the very last item which i am very excited about Ooh, i'm even more excited about now that i've actually read the bag but i love me some symptoms i'm gonna keep this bag because it's adorable uh, i used to be addicted to those things i have you can't see that right now but i have like four mini ones and then one big marie symptom on my displays, but these are the fettuccine gummies in grape flavored. I like the fettuccine gummies. I like gummies in general. I got a big bag of cola ones one year, and those are so good. <laughs> Hello! Let's see. So, opening that up carefully so that I can keep the bag. Oh, they're so cute! We've got a little Donald in here, and he's got a little ghosty witch hat on it. Well, a, go a witch hat with a little ghosty on it. That's so cute! Oh my god. And then these have little fettuccine gummies inside. They're puffed, actually. Mmm, grape. Oh, they're teeny! They're usually a lot longer than this, but they're like little tiny chiclet-sized ones, so... Mmm, I love these things so much. I love Japanese candy so much and lots, especially their sweet and fruity hard candies because they actually taste like fruit and it's really good. But yes, that was everything. We are done with the Japan grade, unfortunately. That makes me sad, but there might be a couple more. I know there's at least one showing up because I accidentally ordered one before I was able to cancel it because I was going to cancel it when this arrived. And then the delays happened, and it was like, well, crap, they charged me before I realized that this one hadn't showed up yet. So, there's at least one more. There might be another one if they send me a different one besides the November one or the December one. I don't know. There will be at least one more, is the long story of that. So, yeah. So, let's find out through the guide. Or where did I put that? <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Okay. So. Burnt caramel osatsudoki. Uh, satisfy your sweet and savory cravings with these chips coated in specially sourced from Hokkaido. The burnt caramel brings out the richness of the sweet potato chip for a unique, delicious experience. Yeah, so those were sweet potato chips. Halloween Koala March. Scary Story Gum. Okay. Each one of these gum packs comes with a spooky story and a cursed card that can either bless you with sweet dreams or troubling nightmares. If you're too scared to uncover the mystery alone, surround yourself with the safety of friends and family. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to go back to that. I'm wondering if I can... Give it to a friend to translate for me. Let's see. 
Plus, is this perforated? Yes, I think so. Oh. I was opening the wrong end. Okay. This one, this end's perforated. There we go. So we have the remainder of the story here, and then the card. This card, which is either a blessing or a curse, and I don't know because I don't read. Unfortunately. But it's very bright and red, so I'm guessing it's probably a curse? I don't know what the blessing looks like, but... If I have friends that can translate, I will probably update that. But yeah, so that's really good. Um, Let's see. Uh, the Chizak, which was the very strange, very buttery, crackery thing. And let's see. Tasty Biscuit has a crispy and flaky consistency with a sweet, creamy cheese taste for unique cheese snack experience. Uh, the Competos, which was the Pumpkin King guy, the cheeky purple things. Halloween Alphabet Chocolate, which was the different, the little, the vampire, the haunted house, and the ghost, or the clown. Uh, Halloween Taco Bat, that was the strange thing that left me on a tangent about bread-covered donuts. Uh, bread-disguised donuts. A small Halloween version of the classic Japanese chocolate that has been around since 1964. Alright. And then this is Chibiko Mikan. Let's see. So these are the orange flavored candies. Those are really good. And let's see. Halloween Tara Tara. Which is this. Tara means cod, the type of fish used to make these dried fish strips. The mascot is saying, don't be Tara Tara, or don't move slowly, playing on the fish meaning of Tara, and the slow, lazy meaning of Tara Tara. So, there's dried fish strips. So I guess you can eat them plain, but I think I'm going to dunk them in a next time I have ramen, because I think that'd be really good. Um, the fettuccine gummy, which are sum sums. Uh, those things, those are awesome. We have... Halloween Kyachan, which are the really, really cute transforming dudes. Uh, hard candies change color and taste as you eat them. So, they started off with grape, changed to pink peach, yellow lemon, and blue apple. That was peach. Okay. Look out for a special gold leaf Kyachan candy in each pack. Ooh. I want that. Also have a little fun by cutting out the cute Halloween shape on the back and taping it to a stick for a photo prop. Well, that is cute. So there's a gold one in here? I don't want to dig out there finding all the gold one. Unless it's the wrapper. Let's see. No, there's no way for me to tell which one's the fancy one. Man. Let's see. Nope. Poo. There's no way. Alright. Well, fine. Um, Akabe Kurobe gum. That is the long sticks of gum. Watch this gum magically transform your tongue to a bright red color or a bright black color. Why is that a feature? <laughs> mm -mm. I'm still going to eat it because it's cola flavored. Uh, the Skeleton Ramune. Ooh! So, this puzzle dude, he's flavored like Ramune, which is good. Horror mask! Book out your friends with this instant horror costume! Scary mask and apple candy. Ooh! So those are apple flavored. Halloween Kit Kats. There was nothing... Um... Oh, that's cute! Each wrapper features a character that encourages sign language. So... Where is it? Oh, that's kind of cool. So, this dude's making a gesture, and that's in sign language. And if I knew Japanese, I would probably be able to tell you what that gesture meant. But I do not know. Um, Halloween Mindy, Mini Rumando. This was the crispy, flaky things that, like, fell apart and was really good. And then Halloween Pepsi Midnight. Special edition, special edition of Pepsi infused with the flavor of cassis. Or cassis. 
C-A-S-S-I-S. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I've been talking for a while. Um, it is meant to be enjoyed in the afterglow of the evening, so it's fitting to enjoy during an after Halloween night. Yeah, I didn't notice anything special with it. So, it's like a little bit of a berry flavor with it, but it's good. Ooh. <laughs> so, um, there is English directions on the candy kit, which is fantastic, because I was struggling with the other foaming jelly soda that uh, it didn't have, like, English translations to it. And I've been looking for the English translation. I think I figured out what's going wrong, what I do wrong with it, but I, I'm not trying it again with that. No, I'm done. That has bested me. I'm going to leave it at that. So, that was the end of the Halloween Japan Great, and I'm very sad because this means no more spooky, but then again, I celebrate Halloween every year, or every day of the year, so it's not a big deal to me. I am a very... Hungry potato, despite the fact that this was I was doing nothing but snacking, I really want my dinner. So, I think I'm going to leave it here. Which one of these things was your favorite? I want to know. Um, because this, I, this was a wide variety of stuff. A lot more, mostly sweets. There wasn't too much savory in this, but... Meh. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I had fun. Hope you had fun watching too. And I hope you were snacking as well. Um, yes, the stream is going to be re-uploaded to, uh, it, it's just, I'm going to re-upload it, so whenever the thing finishes processing, it'll be up. So if you came in in the middle of it and missed it, you should be able to see it again. But, yes, I think this will do it for me. Check out all the other shenanigans on YouTube, like I always do. Um, I'm doing, I'm creating my own enamel pins, too. I don't know if you saw my videos on that, but I'm doing one to, um benefit transgender charities so feel free to check in the description there's a link to the indiegogo campaign if you'd spread that around that would be fantastic um and yes so i hope your holiday season is appropriately festive if you celebrate anything i hope it's fun and festive and i will see you on another video sometime soon i shall have i'm actually I have another uh, project that I'm working on for, I can give you a sneak peek of what I'm showing on this Tuesday's video. But I was commissioned to do this for a blog, so I'm doing a little ascot pin type deal. There's a little pin on the back. So that's my little spooky baddie boo that I'm going to teach you guys how to do. It's going to be directed, it's a little different paced. It's going to be in the style as if like you've never touched beads before. And this was only done with size 11 seed beads, so you don't have to buy a bunch of random garbage that you don't, you only use for one project. So, look forward to that on Tuesday. Yes! Alright. I'm calling it there. I am very hungry, and my throat's starting to hurt from all the talking, because that's, I, that's, that's what I do. I talk a lot. Anyway. So take care to you all, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Maybe if I can figure out how to stop the screen.